Introducing the all new Corolla. It's the basic responsibility of the legislature is to appropriate funds. Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz says that there are millions of dollars that the legislature has not been allowed to appropriate because the Calvo administration has not told them that these funds are available. Specifically, Vice Speaker Cruz is referring to Section 30 funding, and he points to the recent FY13 audit conducted by Deloitte & Touche. The audit came out and it said there was $90 million in Section 30. There's $40 million there that the legislature never had the, the opportunity to appropriate, and it seems to have been spent, but we've never, had, we've never appropriated that money because we were never told about it. Shortly before he passed, the late Senator Ben Pangilinan and Vice Speaker B.J. Cruz introduced Bill 309 to appropriate an expected windfall of $22 million in Section 30 funding. When the governor vetoed the bill in 309 on, the, on June the 27th, in the letter he explicitly says, this money does not exist. The entire month of June, they kept chiding Senator, Senator Ben that this was phantom money, it was, it was being irresponsible, there, there's no such money. However, Vice Speaker Cruz points out two screenshots he took of GovGuam's AS400 financial data system. On June 23rd, it shows $7.8 million with remarks that state, quote, to accrue additional SEC 30 based on DRT IRS. Then on June 26, there's a posting of $15 million, also with the remark stating, quote, additional SEC 30 based on PYREC, DRT IRS. That's the $22 million Senator Ben has been talking about all along, but we knew nothing about it. The bill was vetoed on the 27th. The first entry for $7.8 million was on the 23rd of June, and the entry for $15 million was on the 26th of June. And the very next day, the governor wrote a veto message in it saying the money does not exist. If he reviews the veto message of Bill 309, I think it was, the governor did actually, uh, in the veto message, say that $7 million, I believe it was, that uh, came in uh, in Section 30 money, and an anticipated $15 million uh, that had not come in yet at that time um, in Section 30 money. In any event, Torres is admitting that GovGuam will have this $22 million additional Section 30 money, but he says the money will be used to pay out tax refunds, just as it states in the veto message. But tax refunds have already been budgeted for, and if GovGuam is meeting its revenue projections, there should be no need to use this windfall of additional Section 30 money. But based on this year's revenues, if we're meeting revenues, then you should be able to pay out the tax refunds without requiring the additional Section 30 that wasn't uh, budgeted earlier. That's correct. And that, again, would mean the difference between cash and revenue. We're getting cash in faster. That means we're able to pay out cash faster. But if the cash from the additional Section 30 is used for tax refunds and GovGuam is meeting revenue projections, that still means there would be an extra $22 million of cash that would have gone towards refunds but didn't because Section 30 money was used instead. It means that next year's tax refunds will come out even faster. But it still means an additional $22 million in unappropriated cash for this current fiscal year.